Hi guys, it's Miss Mad Nails, and today I just wanted to do one more back to school video in honor of back to school coming up for me tomorrow, actually. So I just wanted to show you my um, organization and how I organize all my binders and stuff. So let's take a look in my backpack. Alright, so when you first open your my backpack, you see my pencil pouch, which, and I have a note card holder, so I won't lose all my note cards. There's that. And next is this binder. It's not actually for a class. It's more for, um, we get, like, assignment books on the first day. So, I like to put my assignment notebook in the binder because it has three holes. And I put, like, papers that we get from homeroom in these pockets. And I have a three-hole punch, which, like, in some extra classes that I have, where it's not, like, um, the papers aren't hole-punched, that's really helpful because sometimes we have to do it ourselves. So, I use that a lot and a flexible ruler, and I think these are just some reinforcements in case, yeah, any of my, like, notebook paper gets ruined, and some clips for when I have my assignment book. And the next thing in the binder is my language arts. And I got all these binders from Beer Bradley, and so they have really cool prints. Oh, and that's my book cover. And I tried to coordinate my book covers, you know, with the colors of the binder. And this one has 10 tabs. This binder, um, I couldn't actually find a 10 tab, like, set of tabs. They, they the only ones were numbered. So here is a little quick tip for if you need 10 tabs and can't find them. I took an 8 tab binder and like you can see the 8 tabs right here and then I bought another 8 tab binder holder thing and just added two more. So oh, I'll show you my notebook paper. This is also reinforced which I really like because the holes don't get all ripped and the papers aren't falling out. And I use Reinforce every year. It's really helpful. So that's language art, social studies. And I will um, put the names of these prints below in the down bar. Um, if you like the prints. So I think, I forget what this one is called. Something about purple. So I have a purple. Uh, book cover to match it and this one also is the only binder that needs 10 tabs so I just added two more to the eight like I did before and that is social studies algebra and this binder is really heavy because I needed graph paper and all these book covers are a uh, book socks jumbo size if you wanted to know that and I have some graph paper here and the Veer Bradley binders actually did come with tabs so I really like them and little labels too pretty cool and they have pockets on both sides all the binders do my next one I really like a lot. It's for science. And it, oh, I had to have my choir folder. These are actually all the folders I need. And I really like this one. I remembered the name of this because I liked it so much. It's called Happy Snails. And you can see the snails in here. And coordinating book cover. And my tabs are really neat too. They have alternating colors. As you can see, 
my reading binder. And this actually has different prints with the pocket than the pocket. And I have a lot of paper in here. I have a whole sheet of college ruled reinforced. You can see it. Yeah. So those are all my binders. And now I will show you some of the stuff in my pencil pouch. So here is an overview of the stuff in my pencil pouch. That is the pouch itself. And it's clear on this side and has the print on this one. So I will start with the pencils. I have mechanical pencils here and a lead to fill them. And those are erasers, I think. And then these are my Vera Bradley pencils, and they're really cute, I really like them. And it came with this pencil sharpener right here. Oh. That is an eraser, the little Japanese eraser. Have you ever seen these? They are erasers that like come apart. It's a strawberry. Mm -hmm. And they're really, really cute. And they work as erasers, too. You can get them at, like, I don't know, that store called Tinker Toys, I think. It comes apart. You can put it back together. But I don't have time to do that, so I'll do that later. And then this is a USB drive. And these are red and black pens and I have two dry erase markers I only have two because this one has an eraser and that one works better and highlighters here I have purple light blue and yellow oh and I love this thing it's a post-it note holder and it's magnetic you open it up like that and it has post-it notes right here and I really like this because last year my post-it notes were just like by themselves in my pencil pouch and they got all bent up which I did not enjoy and then these two things actually didn't fit in my pencil pouch but I'll just keep them in my locker this is my calculator and this is oh colored pencils because for I think social studies I need colored pencils and an extra highlighter just in case So that's all the stuff in my pencil pouch. And I will just tell you about my backpack before we move on to my locker stuff. This backpack is from PB Teen and it is called Graphic Bloom. It's part of the packet collection. Now here's the stuff that I will use in my locker. It's not an extended amount, but these are just shelves, like metal shelves that, um. I can keep my binders in. I'm not sure if my locker will be big enough to stack them, but if they are, then I will stack them. If not, I'll probably use this one because it's taller. This is a dry erase calendar, and I have a magnetic, oh, that's not magnetic, but this is a magnetic eraser and marker to stick to the locker. This is a magnetic um, case that I will stick there where I can put extra pencils and probably my note cards and I don't know, just any extra stuff that I need to store there. And these are my dogs. These are origami frames. Uh, let me know if you want me to show how to make these. Oh, these are magnets that I had to like cut apart and glue on the back. Yeah, let me know if you want me to show how to make this on my other channel, Thomas Peach Kids, which is made especially for crafts. So that is all my school supplies. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.